ladies and gentlemen, brick addicts, fans and friends from all over the world. Today, I've got a whole ton of friends with me. We're gonna check out the Subway Store. It has been one of those days, and Zabadak just got done doing some crane work on the Apple Store, so he's got this uh, crazy little setup going on. As for me and my other buddies, we just got off the bus, and we're gonna go have Subway for lunch. So let me introduce my friends. We got Daryl from Bevan's Bricks. We got Dr. McBrick. We got me, Brick Addict, Zabadak. We've got Brad and Evan from Animated Brick Builders. And we've got our brand new buddy, Rocky. So Rocky and Dr. McBrick are fairly new to the group. We're gonna go in and we're gonna eat some Subway. And of course, these guys are already inside making food and hooking it up. So since Rocky and Mr. Brick, or uh, Dr. Brick rather, are our new friends, we're gonna let them hang out with Zabadak we're gonna let Daryl pick out the chips, and me and Brad and Evan, which is two in one, we're gonna make the food today. In fact, not only do we have some sub orders at this subway, we've also got pizza. Can't beat that. All right, so let's check this set up. This is one of the very first bigger sets we ever designed. Of course, we gotta have some cool ads on the front, right? $2 appreciation month, buy one, get a million free. Oh, I mean, uh, buy one, get one free. Subway hours of operation, a dinner deal, and a picture of a whole bunch of cool subs. You go in the door. There's a very cool mat of Subway colors. Rows and rows of chips, look at that. In fact, Daryl happens to be interested in the one with the crooked sticker on it. At least one of them with a crooked sticker. Those look a little straighter. And I'm standing there waiting to take his order, it looks like. All right, so let's have Daryl. Oops. Got Daryl in half there for a minute. Let's have Daryl walk over here. And he can very conveniently look right there and make a decision what he wants all the way through the make line. Got details on whatever you want. And of course, you can also look at the highly detailed menu board up there. And then you've got Brad and Evan right there making the sub. This is the uh, bread dough rack, which currently has nothing on it. And the ovens. Very cool ovens, very hot, which is why we've got the sticker on them. And since Subway's got some pizza there, we got a big pizza oven. I think we'll make that a Blodgett and stick a Blodgett sticker on there. Or maybe some other brand, who knows. So once Daryl orders food for everybody and moves through the line, I will be happy to assist him. And there's another little sandwich menu printed right there. I will assist him using the Subway cash register. How convenient is that? And if we zoom into the make line area a little bit, I noticed I had forgot to add some stickers. So here's a little edit in to show the make line, which from this side looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna kind of punch that in to the video here. And so let's pretend this whole time Daryl's been looking through the glass, staring at some awesome condiments and food and all that good stuff. What else did I do? I also put a couple stickers on the table representing a menu and a bag of chips. And let's just assume he's paying with a credit card. Right there you go. He just swipes it and he's all set. Let's pan over here. We've got an Employee of the Month sticker. Uh, that, our friends, is Lego Man. 
In fact, we took that picture about a year ago inside of one of these subway sets. And there you go, there's their food rating. They get an A, which is a good thing. And I'm not surprised because Subways are some of the most cleanest restaurants I've ever been in. Gumball Machine, which uh, needs a sticker back there. We'll get right on that, I promise. And after Daryl gets the food, I'm assuming he's gonna go over here and get the drinks. So this Subway not only sells fountain drinks, but they also sell bottles. So you can get the whole thing there. Condiments, let's see what kind of condiments we've got. We have mayonnaise, which uh, says yellow mustard, hmm. Got uh, actual mustard, we got ketchup. And a slightly crooked sticker, hmm. All right, <laughs> he is uh, diving right in, isn't he? All right, so he pays, he gets his stuff, comes over here and joins in the fun. So got a lot of wall decor in this place. Like I said, it's one of the first sets we've ever built. I think I need to stick a, uh, put a sticker right there. Uh, very comfy seating this place has. And of course, if at any time anyone needs to use the restroom, okay, no one in there, got a, uh, Pretty cool and realistic restroom going on. Toilet paper, sink, toilet, everything you need for a bathroom. And we'll pan out. I think that uh, me, Brad, and Evan are getting ready to go join them here in a sec. We'll probably sit right there. I see a, uh, a piece there that needs switched out. A little oddball piece. But uh, anyway, that right there, folks, is the Lego Brick Addict. Subway store, one of our very first sets ever, and um, one of the most popular. So, in addition to the uh, Apple Store and, <laughs> and the uh, mini Apple Store, which that was not complete, of course, the Burger King. So, after we're done, I'd imagine we're probably going to hop back on the bus and go back where we came from. So, anyways, everyone, if you like the video, please click like below. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. We love subscribers, and we're always making cool stuff. We promise to never let you down. And also, if you're into behind-the-scenes vlogs, click right there, up there, click up there. And if you're into highly detailed LEGO sets like this one, and this one, and Walmart, and Target, and Home Depot, click right up there. I promise you'll love it. We'll see you all next time right here on Brick Attic. Thanks for watching.